What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here. It's time for Do I react to the greatest subreddit on the internet? R slash Attorney Tom. Let's jump right into it. Fake air vent built into a bunker in Normandy. Grenade surprise. Can you imagine just being a giga chad, getting all the way to a bunker just to throw the grenade in? And it's a fake air vent? This is an R slash Attorney Tom. Keep it. We're keeping it in there. Could he be punished criminally if someone gets hurt by it? Parents outrage after a man installs electric fence to keep kids off lawn. It's my yard deal. <laughs> so of course the short answer is it depends. I very well could foresee a case because this would be an unreasonable use of force. Now, of course, if we're talking in the criminal aspect of things, it's the state who's going to have to charge. So it's not like the kids or their parents can bring a private action for a criminal offense. So it's going to have to be the local district attorney who brings a case or charges the individual if we're talking criminal. And I know that's the last thing Dale wants to hear. Don't play lawyer ball, son. Tom getting pulled over. Cop, you know why I pulled you over? Me. Look, if you forgot... I'm not reminding you, dude. That's absolutely correct. And it is very common for police officers to ask you, do you know why I pulled you over? And the reason why they ask you that question is because they want you to say something additional to why they pulled you over. Do you know why I pulled you over? Yes, officer, I imagine you pulled me over because I was speeding. I think I was going 15 or 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. Oh, well, Actually, I pulled you over because your registration is expired, but because you just admitted to speeding, I'm going to write you a ticket for that too. That's why if a police officer pulls you over and asks you why you got pulled over, your correct answer should be, no officer, I do not know why you pulled me over. Strapless seatbelts, wireless seatbelt. <laughs> There are so many things wrong with this, and it is so wrong that if somebody bought this and got injured because of the defect of the wireless seatbelt, it's just so stupid. I wouldn't take the case. What's the jury going to think? Like, obviously, this guy was not protected. There's no case here. I mean, there, there is a case. There's probably, like, deceptive marketing. probably violates some sort of laws. There's no injury case if somebody got injured having this because it's just so obviously negligent. Wireless knowledge hammer. Is there a case? No. I don't I don't see anything. Thank goodness. OSHA announces revamp forklift certification will we'll feature a half pipe portion. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have ever seen a forklift move. There's no way a forklift could uh even get airborne. Let's get real. So it's more realistic that it has a street section. Is this Adrian's mom? Can you bring him to meet me in the DA Monday after school? I believe you have the wrong number. Sorry, it's okay. I wish you the best. He has court on 1030 at 9 a.m. on fourth floor. You have texted the wrong number again. Oh crap, sorry. It's okay. I wish you the best with whatever court thing you have to attend. I'm the lawyer, lol. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure your skill will serve you well best wishes. Is this still Frederick's wife? You know, it's that meme. If your lawyers are wearing the really baggy pants, you're probably going to jail. If your lawyer can't figure out basic text message use, you're probably going to jail. Case or no case, my son is authorized to self-carry his EpiPen and inhaler, yet the school took both from him today at lunch table because it wasn't wiped down and there was a small smear of peanut butter. My son's throat was closing while the school is scrambling around looking for the EpiPen. Yes, I think that's a case. You cannot take an EpiPen from somebody who might need an EpiPen. I mean, this is foreseeable. This is foreseeable. He's carrying around an EpiPen for a reason because he might need the EpiPen. So yes, if the child was injured, which hopefully he wasn't, if he was injured, uh, totally a case. No PPE, seriously? <laughs> oh, it's a bear. It's another bear. Hey, what's up? I'm the bear. Yes, I know you're the bear, but you're getting an OSHA violation. Everyone upvote this to so the first image that pops up on Google when you search attorney Tom. <laughs> downvote, 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 downvote. Ha! Is it illegal to prohibit tenants' guests from staying over with said tenant? The myth of consensual sex landlord edition. The tenant will 
not allow any guests to stay overnight at the premises unless agreed to by the landlord in writing. Okay, so basically what I think the section 16B is trying to get at is more long-term. Like if somebody basically moves in with you and they live there day after day after day, it is likely unenforceable to say that you can't have a one-night stand or you can't have friends spend the night every now and then. That would likely be unenforceable because, you know, as the tenant, you do have rights to use your property as you see fit. And, you know, having people over for, you know, sleepovers and whatever is, uh, you know, that, that's within fair use of your property. But there is a difference when people start living living with you because, you know, if they're living with you, they, in theory, should be on the lease as well. So I'm going to go with this is too narrow. We don't know everything else. Too narrow, but yeah. Is there a case? Please make sure your answers are brief. Yes, there's a case. Obviously, a brief case. Attorney Tom, I thought of somewhere an OSHA manual just exploded. Considering starting OnlyFans and advertising ad is not safe for work, <laughs> when people subscribe, they're disappointed to find out it's just me committing OSHA violations. A whole new meeting of not safe for work. Hey boss, good news. I found another company that has many OSHA violations. Gonna write them up. That's great. How did you find them? Oh, OnlyFans. Did you just say OnlyFans? Yes, they promote not safe for work material. So I was clearly just doing educational research. Dr. Mario. In 1989, Mario was a plumber. In 1990, he started a medical practice. That's a problem. A minimum of seven years is required to become an independently practicing doctor. If you or a loved one were ever treated by Dr. Mario, you may be entitled to significant financial compensation. All prescriptions and doctor's notes he has written are fraudulent and he must be stopped. I would take that case. Look, not practicing doctor, he's gonna get sued. Gonna get sued. Someone's gotta sue him. Why not me? Is there a case? A straight shot from someone yesterday almost hit me in the head while I was playing Apex. And most it missed me by three inches and hit my monitor. What the f is life? Absolutely, it could be a case. It's obviously a case against the person who shot the bullet. At the very least, it's negligence. At the most, it's recklessness. And if they intended to do it, then it's assault and or battery in the civil sense. Um, there could also be a case against the premises. It just depends on if there's history. If the premises knows that having stray bullets is a problem and it happens all the time and yet they have failed to take any reasonable precautions, like if the shootings were happening on on the premises and they could employ some sort of security methods, then yeah, I mean, there, there, there are a whole lot of aspects to this, but yes, it could be a case. Your honor, he is but a humble moth, cannot be at fault. I had a dream last night that a mothman was getting sued by the state of West Virginia for accidentally breaking light posts and he hired me as his lawyer in court. And I was like, now my client is a giant moth, so you can't blame him for loving light. And halfway through my speech, I turned to address the mothman and he was bumping into the courtroom light and they broke and caused a power outage. Ladies and gentlemen of the dream, my client's a moth. That's what moths do. Moths run into lights. You can't get upset at a moth for running into a light. That's like getting upset at Nick Ricada for making subpar content. It's just what they are meant to do. Is it reasonable to post this here? The entire American legal system, the word reasonable. There you go. There you go. I would place it with it depends, but you know, reasonable is a good second choice. You call it a carpet. I call it exhibit A. A hotel in Germany uses 3D carpets to prevent gas from running in the passage. That's crazy. Let me think about this. Let's see if somebody got hurt on this because they're visually impaired and it made them like sprain an ankle or something. Is there a case? I don't know. I, th I think you could probably make a case about this, right? Hmm. Might get a lot of hate in the comments for saying that, but yeah, I think you can make this case. Sorry, the law requires you to have a reasonable fear of being absorbed into the carpet. Since it was just a pattern, your fear was unreasonable. Yeah, I'm not going off of the fear aspect of it. I'm going more off of the, like a, the optical illusion. Like, you know, have you ever seen how they have steps that are painted with like yellow markings to make sure that you know where you're stepping. Well, this is kind of doing the opposite. It's making it harder to step. So it might not be perceived as level. And if somebody like misjudges and like rolls over their ankle or whatever, hopefully it's low damages. Can we give this guy a knowledge sledgehammer for knowing better than to light random things on fire? The man wanted to test the foam out of curiosity, report said. Hey man, do you know what you should do? Not light things on fire! Only inches away from having to call 855 Wait till the end. Oh! 
Gladys okay? Yes. That's a case. Case or no case? <gasps> okay, so we can't show the end of this because we will get flagged, but absolutely this is a case. This is negligence. You don't just put your suitcase on an escalator unattended. You know why? Because the suitcase flying down the escalator is foreseeable. So this lady could definitely sue those people for her injuries, assuming this was America, which it wasn't. You get the point. That's it for today's video. Bye. He's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber. Attorney Tom.